obviously I've been up here for a couple of months now, so I've had a good chance to to see some of the players, to have a look around, um, you know, and, and, and pleasantly surprised at, at the players that we're going to be able to have to pick from and the junior players that we have coming through. So it's actually kind of exciting the next two or three years. Ultimately, our goal would be to, to win the championship, but I think a major one that most people We'll be looking to just improve on, on how we did last year. Very difficult sometimes to make goals and, uh, and have them be anything other than the generic we want to win the championship. But um, I think the goals here go a little bit beyond that. It's to try and generate so much more young talent coming through so that the Rams team five to ten years from now will be a result of all the work that we're putting in the development program. My involvement started in uh, September uh, after the season last year with uh, Otago, the Nuggets. I played one game, well, one game good enough to, to come up here to, to Christchurch. My focus as a coach on trying to get people better. It's not so much on trying to get results today, it's more on how we can do the work to deserve to do well in the future. So I'm kind of more process based than I am on result based. So, while I'd love to say next year, well, look, we're going to do everything right and win the championship, um, I can't guarantee that. What I can guarantee is that we'll be doing everything in our power to, to make that possible, not only next year, but in the future. We've started off a whole lot better than we did last year already, just by being ready. So we try and get uh, a few court sessions in a day, maybe tw two court sessions a day, and then try to get in the gym at least four times a week as well. And then on top of that, we do as many school visits as we can or fit in the time that we have in, in, in a 12-hour a day. So, I mean, it's pretty full on. You get pretty tired and you're driving all around town, but it's, it's good though. It is kind of a new day for Canterbury basketball. Um, we've set up an infrastructure now that will be the envy of every other association around New Zealand. Um, as far as structurally and as far as how we've set it up from the administration side and the management side and the coaching on the court thirdly being the last aspect of it. I mean Caleb Harrison is a really really good development coach and I feel really privileged to have him be able to help me. But uh, where we're going to take it in the next four or five years is going to be a really, really good ride. So I just need, want, need, would hope that everyone would buy in from the start rather than waiting to see two or three years from now that it's actually going to work. Because the, I went through this process in Dunedin without the structure and without the help. And yet you can still prove the basketball on the court to still get the results. Uh, now we've got the whole package. We've got everything in there and everything in the right order. So I'm really excited to see where we end up. Yeah.